in the spring of 2008, we were given a gift of three books from the Smithsonian. Joy Hakim's The Story of Science, Aristotle Leads the Way. The Story of Science, Einstein Adds a New Dimension. And The Story of Science, Newton at the Center. We were given these because I run a girls' math science club called GEMS, Girls Excelling in Math and Science. I decided to give these to the fifth grade class to see what they would say. This is a class of gifted children, and they're very articulate, and they really know what they think. So they all took turns taking them home, reading them during class, and came back with some information about how they felt about the books. I like the books because they were all about science and I really like science. It's about scientists and it's very creative. Um, I like this page because, well, I like the moon. I like um, that it's actually an asteroid, kind of. And it's a circle. And it has different faces. And it goes it's like a circle. When I first opened this book, I thought it was going to be all the history of science. And when I got to this page, I was really interested in it because it, I like the discussion of um, the a body is not a whole, where it describes where a volcano is not a black body. And um, by studying a star spe spectrum, we can determine its surface temperature. So I thought it was cool that you can actually um, get the temperature of a star spectrum. I like this book because it said, why is Mars a little loopy? So I thought that was funny. And this is like, and it's kind of like, kind of loopy too. Cause like there's stars and everywhere. This is like a universe and stuff. And these are like the, the stars. And um, I really like it because the pictures are really detailed, obviously, because they're real. And I've always liked science, so it was really interesting to me. I like this page because we learned about light, about the ultraviolet, um, infrared, and visible light, and all the others. And what's that? It's a picture of purple flames, which is like really cool to me because I'm only used to like orange and blue colored flames. Um, I like this page because this is like the cycle of the sun when it dies and when it lives. It's pretty pictures too. And I liked it because it was more than science. If it's only about science, it would be like a little boring for me. And it's like fun because it's like more about science and it's like a little funny sometimes. And really interesting about page 155 is this picture of this optical illusion. I really like this picture because it's one of my favorite optical illusions to solve. And I want to like solve a lot more than just one optical illusion. I thought it was kind of sophisticated but very interesting and I think it was very detailed. I think it's like it tells us lots of stuff about what we've learned in science so far. I think it's not only about science and it tells us a lot of stuff about like the people who created them and everything. There were lots and lots of information that I was exposed to. It's really colorful. It it looks like just like a pool with rocks, sharp rocks all around them, circulating it. I thought it was going to be like about scientists, all about scientists, but I was wrong. It was it was about moons and that kind of stuff. Well, I like the part about worshiping numbers because like I like math and everything. So, I like to learn about the history of numbers. When I first opened this book, I thought it was kind of boring. But when I went to this page, I kind of liked this. It's like 
all cool and green. Like electronic stuff and crystals and bullets, particles. They're like waves. Overall, they loved the pictures and the sidebars and the interesting little stories. They liked the facts. And they liked that it wasn't like a usual science textbook. Yeah, well, um, this one has like a lot of more, a lot more detail, and the other one they don't have that many detail and pictures along to go with it. And this uses a lot of hard words, and they tell the definitions of the words sometimes. If I didn't know the word, then the definition would sometimes be over there in the book. I would recommend this to six. Sixth graders or seventh graders, because it's, it's sort of confusing to fifth graders right now. I learned that the the sun in like a billion years it's gonna turn blue and stuff. The best part of the book was when, when wait let me go back. What's this part? Cause it looks. It looks like the world, the crust of the earth is like falling into the mantle and everybody's burning up in it. Oh. Well, I probably recommend it to my cousin because he's like smart and stuff. But he's like, <laughs> he likes science a lot. So, and this is the story of science and I think he'd really enjoy it. I recommend this to my father because he's very into, um, um, science and he usually watches the Discovery Channel and stuff like that so I think you'll like it. I recommend this to um, my Aunt Kaya because she's more into history but she really likes science too and I think she really enjoys the books. I probably think you should wait one more year like for sixth graders to read it instead of fifth graders. I like the pictures in the book because it was very co colorful and it looked cool because it was like some were burning and stuff. It was very amazing. Well, uh, okay. This this picture looks cool because so it looks like it's like galaxies and like the plants are gonna blow up. Yeah. Like the like the gas is gonna burn the plants and like pollute them or something. The books have been placed in the McNair Library, and I anticipate that they will become some of the most checked out books in the future once word gets around about how great they are. We're very grateful to the Smithsonian for letting us review these books and for letting us keep them. We would be very happy to review books or kits for you anytime. Thank you. This book made me want to learn more about planets because it was very interesting and talked about planets a lot. I want to have one of my own.